I'm Kathy Martin, author of the blog Skippy's Vegetable Garden, a journal of my sustainable vegetable garden. I'm here in my side yard in Belmont, Massachusetts, and I'm going to show you how to cultivate sugar snap peas. Sugar snap peas are a real nice variety of pea where you can eat the pod and the pea, and they're nice and sweet. Peas fix their own nitrogen, which means that you don't have to put nutrients into the soil for them. They're going to make their own nutrients. I have here a nice garden soil with no additions. I like a nice wide furrow for planting peas. I'm making about a, a five inch furrow here. And then what I'm going to do is this is something that you can buy in the store now. You used to have to mail order it, but you can buy this um, inoculant in the stores now with the seeds. And this is called soil inoculant for beans and peas. And what it is, it's something that the peas use in order to help them fix nitrogen. It's, it's a bacteria that will grow on their roots and fix nitrogen that the peas can then use. You just sprinkle it onto the, uh, this is, sprinkle it onto the soil. This is a granulated form. If you've grown peas and beans for many years, you'll already have lots of this in your soil. But this is really helpful, especially if it's the first time that you're growing peas in a certain location. So now I'm going to add the peas to the furrow. And I like to plant them pretty dense. I've got a small garden, and I do plant pretty intensively. So I'm going to scatter a lot of peas here. Another good thing about planting them dense is that they will uh, hold each other up. I'm going to now cover up with soil. Do you want me to pat them down a bit, smooth out the surface, and then we can label the row. These peas will grow to about 24 inches tall. They can support themselves, but I find it's helpful to add some support. It's also good to add them a support before the peas sprout. I'm just using sticks that I've gathered from my backyard, adding a few here and there. So in a couple of days, these seeds will sprout. And uh, in about uh, three weeks, two or three weeks, they'll be as big as these seedlings. And then in two months, we'll be picking a harvest of sugar snap peas. Mm. And that's how to cultivate sugar snap peas. I'm Kathy Martin, author of the blog Skippy's Vegetable Garden, a journal of my sustainable garden. Enjoy your sustainable garden and grow some healthy vegetables.